Hello, I'm Sally Jo Horton and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the northwest of England and Lancashire. Um, I've brought you this video today to show you some summer mini catalogue products from our summer mini catalogue that launched on the 1st of May and runs until the 31st of August 2012. The first product I want to show you is on page 7 of the summer mini and it's our Simply Scored scoring tool. This really is the tool that I've been waiting for. Uh, it's going to put all the creases and all the folds into your projects. Look at this lovely wreath that's in the summer mini catalogue. Uh, whether you call these la la's or rosettes, it's up to you, but isn't that stunning? Um, but it's just a fantastic tool just to have to put the get you back into the groove, let's just say. Uh, so it comes to you, it uh, measures uh, along the top side, it can take cardstock up to 12 and a quarter inches and on the long side, the far side too. Comes with its own stylus for you marking your scores. Comes with a little pack of three place markers. I've kept those ones in there, I do have some more. But these just go in there so you can see which groove you've got to get into. And also there's a little uh, little secret hidey hole and this is great um, if you want to pop um, a marker in there or your bone folder. So it's just like a little secret cubby hole in there. Stick that back down. And then on the back it's got some uh, non-slip feet so it just keeps nice and steady on your work surface. So let's get uh, scoring. I'm going to show you how to create this little card base. I made this for a recent training event and I just think it utilises a couple of our new, pro well quite a few of our new products absolutely fantastically. So it's a lovely little shadow box diorama card. If I show you it from the top like that you can really see. It folds flat just like that to pop in an envelope. So for those of you who worry about posting things if I squash it down you can see it goes nice and flat but you really do get some depth with it. So to create this card I have used an A4 sheet of cardstock and I've cut it in half down the long side straight in half in the middle. Okay. And I've just made a little cutting chart, a, a scoring chart actually, just to show me exactly where I need to place my markers. So I need to put one at four and three quarters, five and a quarter, five and three quarters, ten and a half, eleven. And 11 and a half. And then all you do is you hold your cardstock up there. So that little chart was just to give me my measurements without guessing from my head. And now I'm ready to follow the groove down from the marker. And we go down, down from the marker, down, 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 and down. And there we go. Let's put our lovely score lines on. We go in with our bone folder now. Making this one out of some Marina Mist cardstock. Having a different colour, so whatever colour card you want to use. And you get two for every four, from every A4 sheet, which is really resourceful if you're making multiple cards. We like value for money. Us paper crafters, if you like me, I save all my little bits and pieces. So I've got some nice crisp folds in there and the card is like that. But bet you're thinking, how did I put that aperture in the front? How did I put that little hole through to the back? And I'm going to show you that now. It's with another new product. I'll just move my scoreboard out of the way. And I'll bring the product into shot. I'm going to uh, show you it's the frameworks and this is the labels collection and these are some nested dies you can use them with your big shot from Sizzix that oh, so we've got a stamping up big shot 
and it's a set of six nested dies in an ornate label. These are really stunning. I've never seen a shape just quite as nice as these. I'm going to use either the uh, third biggest or the fourth fourth smallest is however you want to say it but it's this one from here and move it out of the way so I've got my die but then how are you thinking how did I put it in there and how did I line it up I just need to get a pencil now and a ruler we do have to do a little bit of planning for this and it's not rocket science it's just making a little bit of a cross on your cardstock so I'll do it a bit darker than usual and it picks up on the video And again, a nice cross. And we're going to use a little bit of tape. This is some uh, uh, masking tape and I've pinched this out of Farmer Johnny's toolbox. So it, I've taken the excess stick off on my little cardigan that I'm wearing uh, so it doesn't rip into your card. So really be careful when you're using masking tape. You don't want to take the top layer of your card off. And then, can you see here on this die, it's a very thin die, and this raised metal edge here, this is what does all the cutting on your projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the raised metal edge and point it down into the area that I want to cut. And then I'm going to line up these points here and here onto the cross that I've made on the card and onto the other side too. just takes a little bit of wiggling about. And it might not be exactly bob on, but it's giving us a good idea of where it, you know, it's going to have a good placement on the card front. So I'm near enough lined up there. That's going to do. I'm going to put the tape over, so that's going to hold the die in place while I pick the card blank up to put through the big shot. So the frames we use in conjunction with the big shot, and I'm going to use it on tab two, a clear plate on the bottom my card blank, the die facing down with the raised edge facing down, a clear plate on the top and I'm going to send the sandwich through the machine, I'm going to wind my handle and that's just regular noise there making the clicks, it's cutting it into the card stop. Ooh. I'm going to peel that out, move that to one side and here you go, there's your aperture cut, ready to make a shadow box or a diorama card. So that's totally fantastic. It's a technique featuring two of the new summer mini catalogue products, our Simply Scored scoring tool and the new Framelets labels dies. And it's just a really lovely way to make a project that's just a little bit different, a card that's just a little bit different. So. Thank you for watching me today and I'd love to hear from you. Please do leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as you can. Thank you.